Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to Rims Racing, the preview on the PC. We're going to jump into career mode today. I have already started it, but we will go back to the... I've only done one event just to uh, see how it went. But um, yeah, this is the career hub area. So you can look at the bike that you want. So there is our Ducati. Um, you can go into workshop. You can go to motorbike mechanics and you can look at all the different parts of your bike that you want to. Um, so, so for instance, if you want to change your pads or something, you can unmount and then you have to do the actions on the screen to remove them. Take the pads out. There we go. Let's just, uh, we'll put them back in. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, things you have to do to put them back on. Okay, that's fine. So, we need to mount the calipers now. Otherwise, we ain't going to be stopping. So, there we go. That's the kind of things you, you can do when changing uh, things on your bike. So, for instance, the master cylinder. That's... That is coming off. Okay. There we go. Let's just mount that back. So you're just like a nice little thing to just to help you stay immersed in the, the game. Right. So that is everything. What is missing? Rear brake master cylinder. Don't actually have one. Okay. Apparently. So uh, I can't show you things in the inventory or shop just because they're still waiting on some licenses and stuff. Um... So that's where you can change your motorbike. You can do some more tuning. Which we've already seen engineering. You uh, unlock this uh, skill tree. Um, so we have got enough to... This skill unlocks the engineering area. So it will do that. And then you can uh, decrease... Condition decrease caused by a fuel is reduced by 15%. So you've got like little perks that you can do. These cost uh, team points. We've got three at the moment. Um, where of all components is reduced by 3%. Stuff like that. So all the components of the bike will decrease over time. Um, so that's where you have to go to uh, put new bits on. So that's that. Uh, research. This is uh, where you do your research. So if we unlock that. Again, takes uh, some team points uh, or tokens. Unlocks additional information of the tyres in the MSC. So that's that. So if we go back, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Back into career. <laughs> what I was trying to do was go upstairs. So. Let's. Uh... Some calendar slots contain multiple events. Use the dedicated actions to select them. Okay. Read the event information carefully to plan your career strategically. Once you've chosen the event you want to enter, start it as usual. Okay. Well, that's uh, the calendar. We'll just back out that minute. Change floor is with the right stick. So we've got management here. Again, unlock the management area. We won't do that. Actually, yeah, let's do it. So... Uh, credits earned by selling used components increased by 10% in the shop. Various items in a randomly chosen category are discounted. Inventory capacity is increased. Okay. We've got lodging. This is where you do your rider customization. Um, so in here, you've got body type, which is male or female. And you've got your nationality. Feet on the start, you can have left, right or both. Then you've got the uh, riding style. So you've got body out, shoulders out, old school or balanced. Uh, leg out while braking. And then your fingers for 
uh, braking as well. And then you've got rider equipment, but again, I can't really show you too much of that just because of uh, they're waiting on some brands and licensing and that. So um, that's that. And then you've got settings down here, which is just general settings. So that's the career hub area. All right, let's go into calendar. Let's do the first one again. Um, I have done this one, but we'll do it again so that you guys can see. Yes, I have chosen the Ducati Panigale V4R. So uh, let's go to... Oh, maybe we can't do it again. No, we can't do it again. Okay, that's annoying. Well, not a lot happened in that one. It was just basically the basics. So... Uh... Oh, okay. So we got three events for this one. During some events, like this one, the organizers will lend you a motorbike. Okay. The bike will always be in its stock configuration, and you won't be charged for maintenance costs. Okay. These events are great for experimenting with the motorbike without worrying about consumption and condition values. Okay. Yeah, annoying you can't redo events, but that's fine. Right. So, that one is done. So, we'll go on to... We'll do this first one. Zolder Circuit, I don't really know too well. So, brand event. Uh, brands are used to sponsor competitions and invite to uh, the most promising riders on the scene. The better your final standing, the better your branded reward. Okay. Let's do it then. So, what's going to happen? What are we even doing? going to find out. Alright, once it's loaded, we will head in. Right, we've got a wet track on our hands here. So, we basically, the better your final stand and the better your branded reward. Okay. Oh, we're going straight to a race. It's a wet track. There we go. I mean, it wasn't a great start. Oh. Uh oh. It's not good at all. We've been down. Okay. There's a bit of spray. Oh. Yeah. It is wetter than I was expecting. Should I be on wet tyres? Because it doesn't seem too uh, clever to be on the tyres I'm on right now. Chicane. How many laps are we doing? Seven. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Come on. Okay, we've caught up with the AI, which is good. I don't actually know what setting they're on. I don't know this circuit that well. We are up to third, though. Oh, we're not stopping there. <laughs> Alright. That's not good. That's not good at all. The first event was around this circuit, and it did take me a couple of laps to uh, figure out where my breaker markers were, so just going to have to go careful in terms of grip around here. We have been down twice. Come on, get out of the way. So we'll only be able to show you nine of the first ten events now, because it won't let me redo the first one, which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Okay, through the chicane. 
Okay. Back up to third. Oh, put in neutral by accident then. Oh, he's just gone down. Okay, we now lead. I'm not entirely sure what the setting of the uh, AI are on, to be honest. That was a bit too early on the brakes, wasn't it? At least we got it stopped this time. Oops. Oh. Uh Sometimes the corners really creep up on you and you don't realise how uh, quick you're approaching them. Put it in neutral again. So you can put it in false neutral if you're not careful. Obviously if you're using uh, automatic gears you don't need to worry about that. Oh, the tyres were squealing then. Didn't like that. I haven't done a proper wet race yet. Definitely need to uh, change the difficulty of the AI though because uh, yeah, they are very easy at the moment. Fourteen second lead. So we should get a good branded deal, that's for sure. Oh no. Okay, we just about got that stopped then. Again. Break. Again, a little bit too early. Spun up a bit there.
come on. Careful, careful. Break a little bit later. Oh. Three quarters of a second penalty from that. It looks like the track is drying up. Definitely uh, later on the brakes. Didn't get a penalty that time. One lap to go. Here are the bikes, but not really anywhere near them. You can tell that the track is drying out because we are getting quicker and quicker every lap. There we go. I mean, that one was a piece of cake. So we won that one. And uh, yeah, job done for that. So we got 2,700 credits, uh, Brembo brakes for the BMW, which we're not using. Um, but we also got some uh, discs for the Ducati, which we are using, so that's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's that one done. We can go on to the next one. See if we can change the difficulty of... Can we do... Oh, okay. So once you've picked... Yeah. Once you've picked an event... So, you, like this one, you got seven to, uh, to do... But we can only use certain bikes, so... We haven't used the Kawasaki yet. I'll go for the Kawasaki. Is there any way... 
if I back out of this, if I go to let's go to settings, general. Um, yeah, so career difficulty. This is what I was talking about in the first video. So if you have it on novice, um, you can restart the event career uh, calendar. A calendar progression not saved exiting a calendar event. So if you just back out and uh, your opponents with lower performance. Semi-pro, uh, calendar event restart not available. Calendar progression not saved exiting a calendar event and opponents with slightly lower performance. And then pro, which is what I added on. A calendar event restart not available. Calendar progression is saved exiting a calendar event. Ranked did not finish. So if you just back out of it for, you know, you want to get um, some upgrades or something, you won't be able to. And opponents at full performance. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So there isn't any obvious way of... Maybe it's uh, once we've started an event, we can change the uh, the AI. Or maybe they're just going to get harder over the, uh, the course of the career. So we've done two. We're on to event number three. So like I said, we'll use the Kawasaki for this one. Um, let's do it. See how we go. It's a Kawasaki. Now I've just seen something in the loading thing. Online custom event. If you wait too long without any input, you will be kicked from the lobby. Which is good. That's what we want. Okay. We're doing Laguna Seca. Okay, so it's time to go racing. I didn't actually do a, uh, a valid lap in qualifying, so we're starting down in 10th position. Is there a uh, way to change him now? No. Okay. Oh, one thing I do need to do... Um, is change transmission back to manual. It wasn't working for free practice or qualifying, so I had to put it on uh, automatic, and now we can use manual for the race. It's a bit foggy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's wide, that's wide. Stay on, stay on, thank you. Gotta do eight laps. Oh. Yeah. As I said in the first video, the AI is still being worked on. Unless I'm being stupid, but I haven't found a way to change the difficulty for the AI in career mode. I mean, if it's me, then I do apologise. If not, then it would be nice to have a... Uh, some sort of setting that we could use, like uh, when I done the the free, well, the, the the single race around Nurburgring, we uh, changed the the AI to a hundred percent. I mean, you can make pit stops if you want to as well. Like if you want to change your tyres or refuel, you can go in. And again, you have to control the actions of your team taking out your tyres and refueling and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, another little thing you have control over. Don't want to be out there. 
into the corkscrew again. Ties didn't like that. Hear them squealing. As soon as we've got a big old lead already, do you, do you reckon we can lap anyone in this race? We'll see. We shall see. We're down. Man down. Man down with the corkscrew. I just clipped the inside kerb there. I think I clipped the engine casing on it or something. But, uh, yeah. Not ideal. <laughs> not ideal to do a crash there. But at least it was a slow one. Okay. It's going to be another lap done. Kawasaki feels pretty good, to be honest. No, I'm used to the uh, Ducati now. The, the what? The Ducati? What's that? The Ducati? Um, but yeah, the, the Kawasaki feels pretty good, although I'm going very wide. And we're going down again! Just lost the front in the dirt. I don't think we will be uh, lapping anyone. I try to keep the front end uh, from tucking there, but didn't work. Careful. Oh, getting the tyres a little bit squarely. Tires aren't liking it through that corner, even though it's got nice camber. It's uh, the tires are protesting a little bit. Oh, didn't like that. Didn't like that. Got real, you know, bass from the uh, downshifts uh, of the uh, the exhaust. Oh, and upshifts as well. Maybe next lap we'll do a uh, helmet camera. Because uh, I don't think we're going to lose this race. Again, just a little bit of a uh, protest from the tyres. Okay, get it turned. Lovely job.
Oh, that's wide. That's wide. That's very wide. Oh, duh! <laughs> Just run out of uh, track there. on the brakes. Pretty good in first person, actually. Okay, that was uh, way too slow into there, then. I just didn't want to go wide. I'm going to be slow with helmet camera. That's just how it always works. Gone. Down we go again. Wrong gear. Wrong camera angle as well. So one lap to go. This is, of course, the final lap. Oh, rear nearly went. this corner now. And that's going to be another one done. Another win. Another win. Well, there we go. So done those two we've got some more team points as well excellent so there we go i think i'll leave it there for now guys so we've done um 
Events number two and three. Uh, next one, it's uh, around Suzuka with the MV Augusta. And then we've got a uh, a race around Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Right, there we go, guys. That is uh, a couple of events in career mode on Rims Racing. Apologies, I couldn't show you the first one. I didn't realise we weren't going to be able to redo it. Um, but yeah, there we go. A lot of events to go through 70 in one season. So uh, a lot to get through. And of course, that will just be one season as well. And there will be some road racing ahead as well. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe. Wash your hands and look after yourselves. Actually, let's just look at... How's our bike looking? Everything looks okay. Everything is still green, which is good. 91%, 95%, 87%, don't really need to uh, change any, anything just yet, so that's fine. Okay, it is looking a bit scratched though, because obviously we did go down. Can we do anything? Delivery. It says it's a hundred percent, but it does look scratched. But yeah, there's a lot you can uh, change on the bike. Yeah, like I said, that's it from me. So I shall see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you guys next time. See you.